Hello Internet, this is Joe the Alternative Gamer and we're going to be talking about the new Call of Duty, Call of Duty World War Dos, which is Spanish for two. So I just wanted to talk about it a little bit and my wants and thoughts for the new Call of Duty. And I know the new game is going to be being made by Sledgehammer Games and they're the guys that gave us Advanced Warfare, which I really enjoyed. It was a lot of fun. And with their new game that they're coming out with, I do like that it is going back to a more classical war setting because I've been craving for more World War II games since everything's been all futuristic. And while I enjoy the science fiction, it's great, it's good stuff, I do think that sometimes the franchise is kind of getting a little bit homogenous lately. And to go back and now have a game that's in a retro setting, I think would be a great idea for the franchise. Now with Sledgehammer they did a really good job with Advanced Warfare and going forward with the World War II Call of Duty I'm really looking forward to them knocking a good story out of the park. I really enjoy Call of Duty's story modes. There's something like enjoying a really good action movie and they usually have very interesting characters, they're likable, it's fun, they got the bad guys that you just want to shoot up and usually really good soundtracks. But what I think would be really cool with Call of Duty for another World War II setting is if maybe they did something a little bit different. And one thing that I think would be great is if either the whole story or part of the narrative took place from the German side. And maybe play as a, uh, a soldier in the Nazi army, but someone who joins up maybe gets caught up with everything that's going on and then decides this is not for him. This is not the course that he wants to go. And then he goes and fights for the resistance or something like that. And maybe he befriends somebody. And I know some of that kind of sounds like cliched movie stuff that we see, but it's definitely a setting and a plot that could work in some really good characters. Maybe you got some, you know, double agent type stuff going on. I think it would be a very interesting story. And we never really get to see from the Germans perspective on any of the wars. I mean, even in Battlefield 1, it would have been nice if that would have been an opportune time to have a German campaign. But that's just something I think that would be really cool if they're gonna go with that. And maybe interwork it in with an American campaign or one of the other countries that participated in the war. Do something like that. Give us something we haven't seen before, but most importantly, give us characters that we care about, that are really likable. They need to make them relatable. So don't just focus on the historical battles, but the people that participated within those battles. That's gonna make us, the audience, the player, really resonate with those characters and get really emotionally invested in the story and in the game. And one thing I think that would just help the game is to include that, I don't really know how to coin it, but it's that kind of camaraderie dialogue that you see in a lot of movies, especially war movies, like in Fury, Saving Private Ryan, Band of Brothers, Pacific, or even modern stuff like Lone Survivor, where you have a bunch of uh, soldiers talking back to each other, and they're usually shit-talking each other, or what have you. And it's very funny, but it's dialogue you would almost have with your best friend if you were teasing them, and I think having that type of stuff would definitely make the characters more relatable to us. So that's what I'm really hoping for with the story mode going on here. Now, one other thing I would like to add is it would be really neat if they added in that light progression system that Infinite Warfare had in their campaign where you're earning different types of perks or maybe attachments or guns, maybe even have a currency system. I don't know, but something different and maybe even have side missions, have little hub areas and you have to go defend a town and then maybe you go outside that town. It'd be neat. We'll go with that. So, oh, and one more thing with the story mode. When you die, they need to bring back the famous quotes from history that they had in there. It was just a nice touch, something they had in the old Call of Duty games, and since they're going back to that old style, I'd love to see those quotes there. Every time I take a bullet to the face, I want to read Winston Churchill said this. Now, I want to talk about the co-op content that potentially the new game will contain. Since it's being made by Sledgehammer, they've always included really good co-op in their Call of Duty games. In their past one, Advanced Warfare, they had Exo Survival in there. And I really enjoyed this a lot. It was a lot of fun. With that game, they added a lot of maneuverability with the game, where you could do these boosts and you could do these jumps that were a lot of fun. 
And with the co-op mode, it had split screen, which I love split screen. I wish it was in everything, but at least Call of Duty keeps having it. And it was a horde style mode where you keep trying to last as long as you can and you would complete objectives like defusing bombs and etc. And there was even an in-game amount of progression, which was cool. I liked it. It was one of those modes that, you know, if your buddies are only available for a couple hours and they can only play this and they haven't been playing it for a while, it's not like you have to take them and now rush them certain levels so that they can now play with you. It was a great drop-in, drop-out kind of mode, and I enjoyed that. And I want them to include something like that in the World War II game. I think that would be a lot of fun to have that. And they can go nuts with it. You know, they can throw tanks at you, attack dogs. Sometimes you have to watch out for gas or flamethrowers. Yeah, have a lot of fun with it. Include a lot of different stuff. And it would have that awesome World War II setting. Give us a lot of awesome settings with that. I can't wait for that. Now, with my hope of that being included in the game, I have a feeling they will probably end up doing zombies in some way, shape, or form. Now, I have a feeling that they are probably going to stick very close to the zombie style modes that they've been making for several years. Now, I'm a big fan of zombies, but I feel like they should go in the direction of what Killing Floor did for zombies, which is take the original formula of Call of Duty zombies and then better it even more because if you guys haven't tried Killing Floor 2 and you have a PS4 or a PC, sadly it's not on Xbox One yet, but it's a lot of fun. It's just this big co-op uh, mode where you try to last as long as you can, but the big thing that I like with it is you've got progression, you've got different character classes, you got medics, you got lots of different guns that you can buy, you get a shotgun that can shoot flamethrower shots, like it, uh, it's just so much fun. You can even use a katana if you want. It's got a lot of variety in that sense, but the biggest thing that I enjoy is, depending on the difficulty, it has a set amount of waves, and you just have to complete those waves, and then there's a boss fight at the end of those waves. I like this because there's a sense of accomplishment that you finish something, where in Call of Duty Zombies, you just keep going until you die. To me, it doesn't necessarily give you that sense of satisfaction that you want, because it always feels like you're losing. You may be getting like further into doing more rounds, but you're always losing. You never actually can beat it. And I would like Call of Duty, if they do zombies again, to implement something different with their zombies. They can keep the last as long as you can mode, but having something else there where it's objective based, you know, if you have to defend this one location for five rounds or do this, do that, or have a little light story with it, something like that I think would definitely liven up the zombies mode that has kind of grown stale at this point, at least for me. I would really enjoy if they don't do a zombies mode, or in addition, they do something else. So they'll do zombies and say they do something else. Heck, if it's me, give me zombies, all fresh and new and polished. Give me, you know, a new survival type horde mode and give me something different. That's the one thing I like. And say what you will about Call of Duty Ghosts, but they did do something different with their game with their co-op mode, is they had a really cool alien mode in their game. I really enjoyed this. You had to defend certain locations while destroying these uh, alien-like harvest areas, and you had to eventually plant a nuke at the end of the level and get the hell out of there, you know, get to the chopper, and it was a lot of fun. It was very punishing, but there were different character classes there, and each of the classes provided different assets to the team, where you had more of a tank character, or you had more of a medic character, or the guy who was really quick moving and had all the awesome guns and perks. Something like that. Give me something new. I, yeah, I'm not saying give me aliens in World War II setting, though I'm all up for crazy stuff like that, but maybe just try something different. And maybe they do that by giving us something familiar, like a horde mode or a zombie, so that people will accept that more and then go nuts with a different mode. And they can be like, hey, you know, we're giving you something that you guys want all the time, and here's something different. Now, as you might notice, I have not touched on multiplayer at all. I'm a bit of a different case when it comes to Call of Duty. I really love the story modes and I really enjoy the co op multiplayer. I don't play the competitive multiplayer much. I played a bunch of the Black Ops 1 and I really enjoyed it, but besides that I haven't really gotten back into it. But I understand that there's a lot of vocal fans out there that really want Call of Duty to get away from that science fiction setting with all the wall jumping and the jump boosting and you know wall running, all that jazz, and they just want their characters to be in more of a grounded setting and play that. And you know what, with the World War II game coming out, 
I think they're going to get that, and I hope whatever people want in the multiplayer for Call of Duty that they end up getting. I just won't talk about it because I'm not as well versed in it and I don't play it. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I just wanted to touch on some parts of the new Call of Duty coming out and what I would like to play and what I would like to see and different modes. None of this may end up happening, but either way, as with every year, I always look forward to Call of Duty coming out. Yes, it's familiar, it comes out every year, but I always have a good time with it. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please give me a subscribe, and I'll see you next time.